Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Haya Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. Jesus Christ is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and the Holy Bible is our only source for truth. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, I trust this finds you feeling blessed this morning, hungry for the Word of God, and ready to grow, because that's exactly what we're going to talk about. Today is September the 15th, in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, our text this morning is going to come out of 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 2, which says, As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that you may grow thereby. What a mouthful. As newborn babes. Now keep that in mind because that's very significant on what we're going to address this morning. Desire the sincere milk of the word, that you may grow thereby. Now let's just stop and ponder this for a moment. What do you think it means to grow? Well, if you were going to ask a child that, he would say to be like my dad or to be like my mom or to be like some other figure that he looks up to. So he wants to grow in stature. If you were to talk to a first grader, he may look to the day where he is going to put on the robe, wear the fancy little hat, walk down the aisle and receive his high school diploma because he has gained so much knowledge. The same with a college student. But when the Bible says that we are to grow, we have to understand what the Bible means. And so we take our lesson from what other areas of the Bible tell us, even Jesus himself. Jesus said, if you want to live, you have to die. Jesus said, if you want to have much, you have to give more. Jesus said, if you want to be first, you have to become last. And so just as it is with these statements of truth, that they are opposite of one another, that they go against everything that we think, so it is with growing in the spirit, growing in grace, growing in truth. The idea here isn't one of the reality that we live in. In order to grow in the Lord, I must know more. I must gain knowledge. I must become stronger, better equipped. To grow as a follower of Jesus means that we must lower ourselves. We must empty ourselves. It's not about taking in information. It's not about becoming bigger, stronger, and better. But it's about becoming weaker. It's about becoming more dependent. Less pride and more humility. Less aggression and more tenderness. Less outspokenness and more silence. Less hallelujahs and more tears. You see, it's the opposite of everything we think. Because we think on the plane, on the level that we are in, in the world that we in, we think with the intellectual mind. And so if we were standing in front of Jesus, when he said for the first time, to be first, you must be last, huh? To live, you have to die, huh? And to have, you have to give it all away. That doesn't make any sense. But it's not supposed to make sense. Because it's taken place in a spiritual world, not in a physical world. In a spiritual realm, not in the physical realm. And so let's look at our text one more time. As newborn babes, not soldiers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now don't misunderstand me. There is a purpose of acting like and becoming a soldier for the Lord Jesus. But what we become and how we see ourselves is much different. I might be heirs, you might be heirs to all the promises and the blessings that God is going to bestow upon us when we arrive in the kingdom. But we're not going to joyfully receive the crown of glory. We're going to take it off and we're going to lay it at his feet because he's the only one deserving. 
We've done nothing to deserve this. All we're doing is what we have been commanded to do, nothing more. It's like being at work and receiving praise for doing your job. You shouldn't get praise for that. You're doing what they pay you to do. And so he says, I want you to become as newborn babes. I don't want you to think of yourself as elevated Christian superpowers. I want you to see yourself dependent upon the Lord as a baby is dependent upon its mother. I want you to hunger and thirst after the things of God, like a baby hungers and thirsts after its mother's breast milk. And so he says, as newborn babies, desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. And so when we read the word, we don't read that we're supposed to take a prominent place raise our hand and show everyone how holy we are, so every, show everyone how righteous we are. No, we're supposed to take the back seat. You see, rather than always desiring to be in the limelight and be the one recognized, we should be the one that sits in the very back and goes unnoticed. We should exalt and praise others and not seek that same praise or exaltation for ourselves. And so the message for this morning is this, friends. As you grow to better understand the things of God, you're going to start to see that the things of God are opposite. They're in contrast to the ways of this world. That's why the Bible tells us in the book of Corinthians that God uses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. When we hire someone, we want to hire the wisest, the most ready for the position. But what God says is, I'm not looking for the wisest. I'm not looking for the strongest. I'm not looking for those who are prepared and are better for the position. I want the broken. I want the downhearted. I want the meek. I want the humble. And friends, that isn't only where we begin, but that is where we must remain throughout our entire journey with the Lord. And we must learn how to become more broken more downhearted, more downcast, more humble, more giving each and every day. And we do that by reading the word of God because that is the message of God. And so when someone asks you, are you growing in the Lord? Let your mind think back to these moments, to this teaching, and be honest with yourself. Are you becoming less proud every day? Are you becoming more giving every day? Are you becoming more dependent upon the Lord every day? Are you trusting in Him each and every hour more and more? Are you dying and in doing so learning how to live? Are you becoming last in all things so that you may be placed first? This, my friends, this is what it means to grow in the Lord. And I pray, I truly, from the bottom of my heart, desire that you are growing in the Lord Jesus each and every day, making the aspects that we have talked about and we've touched on in this our time together, the key elements of your life, that they would be your drive and your goal as you seek to be a follower, a better follower of the Lord Jesus each and every moment. Well, friends, I love you. I'm so grateful that you're here with us again. I truly do trust and hope and pray that you are growing in the Lord Jesus. Now, as he wills, and until next time, I'll see you on the next video.